Oh my god, chat, can I tell you about this dream I had? Chat, I think I saw like God or something. Or something. I woke up feeling like... Chat, please, bear with me. I can't describe it with my words. Because it's something I've never seen before. And usually your thoughts and your dreams are stuff that you've seen before. Because your mind can't make up something it hasn't seen. But bro, chat, okay. So, it was like... <laughs> All of us, like everybody, everybody that I know, everybody, we were like in pods, like under the earth or something. We're in like a different dimension or something. And it was like a bunch of branches. It's like black everywhere. It's like a whole different dimension, bro. And we're all going to this destination, all the pods. All the pods have different amount of human civilizations on them. Not civilized, but groups of people. All the ones around me were the people I know in my life. And our destination was something like this, like a like a like a pathway, like this, standing up with this crumbling rock going down the pathway. And I noticed the closer we got to the destination, I realized the pods going through the pathway were getting destroyed by the crumble, by the crumbling boulders and rocks. So they'd go in and <laughs> So from a distance, everyone's like, yes, let's go, let's go. But the closer you got, dying. Like, that's death, chat. I'm realizing all the paws going through the pathway are getting destroyed. People are dying. And in the resonance, in the remnants of the human bodies, and the pods are falling on like a floor. All the pods are going through the pathway and getting de- have you heard about the fish that swim up her pea stream being in Florida? So, as I'm getting closer, like I said, I'm witnessing everybody's dying. And all their bodies and the pods and remnants are just landing on the floor. And I notice, there's like, things coming out the floor, like big things, like, big roots. But it's like white roots. And the bodies and stuff are getting absorbed. And I realize... Bro, that's death. I tell everybody, we can't go there. We can't go there. So I take like a detour. I bust a right. And everybody else is just brainwashed like, oh, the ball. Sounds like you were in an infinite right? sukiyomi. Right? So when I make the detour, I get out. I look to my right. Chat, I don't know how to describe how this looked. It was like a being. Remember the roots I told you that was coming out the ground? It was attached to like this thing, like this big head looking thing. But it wasn't like, I can't even describe it, bro. It's something I've never seen before. And when I laid, when I laid my gaze upon it, I just was like, I could, my brain couldn't comprehend what I was looking at. I couldn't comprehend what I was looking at, bro. Lover, draw it. Let me see if I could, I can't, I can barely remember it. Let me try to draw for y'all, chat. This is the ground. This is the pathway I was talking about. These are all the boulders and rocks falling down the pathway. And the pods are going in and dying. Everybody that enters the pathway is dying. Everybody that's flying in is dying. Let's say the pods are like this. It was like this. Pods. Breaking. Destroyed. Getting destroyed by the boulders and rocks. And all the remnants and shit. Are right here! The remnants of everything is right here, chat. The bodies. The bodies are on the floor. Chat. There are big ass root looking things. Absorbing the area. Absorbing everything landing on the ground and it just going into the ground. You can't see under the ground, but you know it's going under the ground. A bunch of roots going into the ground. Going into the ground. Alright, those are the roots. It's absorbing, chat. And over here. Can't even draw it! I can't even draw it, bro! 
It was the scariest ever! I can't even describe it! It was slimmer than this! It was slimmer than this! I don't know how to describe it. I've never seen a beam that looks like this. It looks so sped when I'm drawing it, bro. It looks so sped when I'm drawing it. But I don't- Bro! It was Nigga sucking all the jellyfish. <laughs> Let me tell you the closest thing that could look like it, bro. It was a mix of this. Something like this. Something like this. And a mix of like a little bit of this. But it was like white. Look up Chibu? Why why you keep saying telling me to look up Chibu? See Tulu. What the is that? What the fuck? Chat? Chat. This picture right here. I have never seen this in my life. I don't even know what the fuck this is. This right here is the closest representation of what I can say I saw. But these weren't tentacles. It was like roots. Instead of tentacles, imagine there are big ass roots going into the ground, sucking in the energy of what I was explaining. What the fuck is a sea tulu? Okay, stop playing with me. Stop saying I'm. F stop playing with me, nigga. Stop saying me. Stop saying that. What does that mean? What does that mean? Tell me the origins. No, I'm for real. Tell me, please. Tell me the origins. Cthulhu? Oh, that's that Cthulhu. Good name. Talk about what did they say about Cthulhu? The Great Dream! What the f is that? What do you mean the Great Dreamer? Nah, hold on, y'all chill, y'all, y'all, hold on, y'all, 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 y'all chill, y'all chill, y'all chill, y'all chill, y'all chill, y'all y'all chill, 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 y'all Mythos and the world can't be a situation in the face of a dilemma, the dilemma of where I should begin. But after some contemplation, there was only one real answer with the great sleeper himself, the great dreamer of earlier, the great Cthulhu. Now, having an entire mythos named after him, you'd expect Cthulhu to heavily feature in numerous works of Lovecraft, but that isn't the Lovecraft. What's Lovecraft? Case Cthulhu's only appearance of any real note was, of course, in The Call of Cthulhu. The story itself is told from varying accounts, and the style is quite similar to something you'd expect from a documentary, using the letters and manuscripts of several characters. It is from the Norwegian sailor Gustav Johansson that we are provided with a first-hand account of his terrifying encounter with Cthulhu. With Johansson and the rest of his crew awaking Cthulhu from his slumber, realising the mistake they had made, they attempted to flee, but many of them were slaughtered in the process. Eventually Johansson and the rest of the crew decide that they have to face the monster head-on, ramming their boat straight into Cthulhu. At first this appeared to have worked, splitting Cthulhu's head open. However, upon seeing the Great Old One regenerate and begin to reform, they realized that this was a beast unlike any they had encountered previously, and decided it would- Before this goes on, chat, let me tell you how I- after, after the dream was over, chat, I woke up and felt like nothing I've ever felt before. I'm not saying I felt good either. It was just like, I was thinking about reality in the world, and like- Bro, my brain went into a thought that I've never felt. I didn't even know how to explain it. I just went in. I just, I just sat. I, just, I literally sat on my bed like this. Because I'm really trying to process what the f How is my brain thinking the way it's thinking right now, bro? It's like I opened another f slot in my brain and my, and, my, and my body was trying to process what the f I was, I, I, was, I, was, I was experiencing, bro. I wasn't possessed. I was completely aware of everything, but I was like, yo, why do I feel like this, bro? Why, do, why am I looking at the world like this right now, bro? Best to evacuate. Johansson survived long enough for his accounts of the terrifying events that took place that day to be found, and arguably this is where our fascination with Cthulhu began. Lovecraft only mentioned Cthulhu and the Great Old Ones in passing. He created a very loose pantheon consistent of ancient deities that were not from our world. It wasn't until the later years when writers such as August Derleth, Robert E. Howard, Anally probed, Neil Gaiman, Robert Block, and a host of others really began to- The power of Christ compels you. Bro, I'm not fucking- I'm not- Bro. Develop the ideas that Lovecraft had introduced. The name Cthulhu is believed to have derived from the classical Greek word Chthonic, meaning subterranean, which refers to something that exists under the Earth's surface, being secret and concealed. No! 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 Tap! No! No! 
Chat. When I was telling you the story, what's the first thing I told you about the location? No! 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 But he said, but it's water. How is the water? No, it wasn't water though. It wasn't water. It was not water. I told you it was like a dark space. It, I said it was like, I don't know where it was, another dimension under the earth or some shit. But it was like dark, kind of. And you see a whole bunch of like, tr like roots and stuff all over the place. And but it wasn't water. Which is a description that fits Cthulhu quite well, considering he could be found sleeping deep beneath the Pacific Ocean. As I mentioned in my previous video about Lovecraft, Cthulhu was actually meant to be pronounced in an alien tongue. Lovecraft himself used several different pronunciations over the years, with the most common being Klalhul. But as you can imagine, talking in an alien tongue just isn't very practical, especially when it sounds like you're about to cough up a furball. So the pronunciation that is widely accepted and used today is of course Cthulhu. In the years that followed Lovecraft's passing, there were dozens of authors that included Cthulhu in their stories, and attempting to look just for one backstory to consider canon doesn't really work. There were numerous authors that describe Cthulhu in a variety of different ways, with his personality, motives, and appearance varying in their tell own- Tell me his motives, tell me his abilities, tell me his powers, and why the f was a Cthulhu ass looking ass in my dreams when I never seen a Cthulhu in my life? Like how did my brain create that thing without ever seeing it is what was blowing me, bro. Unique manner. It was my first time ever seeing some shit like that, and I was like, bro, what? But it was like, not green. It wasn't even green though, bro. To me, that's what makes the work of Lovecraft and all those that followed like, so great. We have this base foundation that's been laid by Lovecraft, but all of these characters can be interpreted in the way you see best. So I guess what I'll be discussing is the few things that people mostly agree on. And it was root, bro. It's not Cthulhu. It's not Cthulhu. Cthulhu had tentacles. The thing had roots. Stop playing with me. We know that the Great Old Ones are described as coming from the stars, but what exactly does that mean? Cthulhu is believed to have been born on the planet Vol, located in the 23rd Nebula. He is part of an alien race known as the Great this nigger woke up feeling like Aaron. He bout to start the rumbling. Captain Levi, take out the monkey! Take out the monkey titan! Captain Levi! The old ones, though Cthulhu was never really considered a god like the rest of them, he was instead considered a priest, with one of his many titles being Cthulhu, High Priest of the Great Old Ones. Cthulhu's dead ass look this up I know some people in chat will know what I'm talking about. But look up on YouTube Cthulhu scene from Love, Death and Robots and I feel like that's pretty close to what you saw. Okay, GG. after this I'll Described be by Lovecraft as being neither male or female. Though in the later years the sentiment emerged that he was the brother and father of himself as he impregnates his daughter Cthulhu. Cthulhu is referred to as a female, so because of this I'll be referring to Cthulhu as a he for the rest of the video. Cthulhu was a child of Nug and Yeb, making his grandparents yogg sothoth and sheb meaning his great-grandparent was Azathoth. One of his parents were, grandparents were black. Listen. Making his grandparents yogg sothoth and sheb meaning his great-grandparent was Azathoth. Cthulhu did have numerous children, and when travelling to the planet of Zoth, he came across Idya, whom he would mate with, creating four children. Gatanathoa, the dark god and the firstborn of Cthulhu. yogg the second son, Zothamog, the third son, and Cthulhu, the secret one, the okay. daughter tasked with regenerating her father, should he ever be slain. Accompanying Cthulhu and his children as they traveled the universe was the star spawn of Cthulhu, a shapeshifting alien race that resembled Cthulhu. I hear anything about dreams or something, or I, I, I will lose it, chat. I will end this stream or something. Cthulhu, but what much? I will go get a scientist to study my brain, because there's no way. Smaller in size. Whether these beings were the actual spawn of Cthulhu, or just an alien species that was similar in appearance that chose to worship the priest, is unknown. When Cthulhu and his followers arrived on Earth, they built the great city of Erlie, a city built of enormous emerald stones and statues that honoured the great Cthulhu, a city that was often referred to as the Great Corpse City of Erlie. Not long after arriving, they encountered an alien species known as the Elder Ones, or the Elder Things, which had colonised and lived on Earth for over a billion years. The Elder Ones and the star spawn of Cthulhu went to war, and despite the- My brother, the it sounded like you was in the Upside Down like Stranger Things. But the Upside Down- nah, it wasn't like the- I see why you would say that, but the Upside Down is like, it was different. In numerous conflicts, they eventually agreed to live in peace together. Cthulhu and his star spawn would have reign over the newly formed landmasses, and the Elder Ones would rule the ancient landmasses around the regions of Antarctica. Cthulhu eventually fell into a deep slumber and watched over human civilization as they advanced and developed over the years. He did How did he watch if you went into a slumber? NGL, we're gonna start the GoFundMe for you. Don't worry, fam, your funeral gonna be paid for. 
R.I.P. Joshi. Apparently he's a soul-eating being so what if all the people in the pods were souls being taken and devoured by him? He ain't no soul-eating. Chat, chat. You just made that up. He's not a soul-eating being. You said soul-eating being because I told you niggas souls were getting absorbed. He's not no soul-eating. You're a liar. You need they, to they never said that. Area Moon Lord too. They ain't never said nothing about him being a soul-eater. He did, however, maintain contact with humankind through their dreams and slowly began to create the cult of Cthulhu. No! Get the f*** out of here! Stop my well, dick! No! No! Oh, 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 I'll, end, I'll end this stream, you No, no, gang. No, gang. No, 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 no! Out of all the- Yo, what? I don't even know what to- Like, this is an- I'm having an epi- Out of all the things- that I could have had like an epiphany on or something like like this it had to be a f Cthulhu. Or could it have been God or so I couldn't see God. It had to be f Cthulhu. The great city of earlier would eventually sink. In what if you just woke up in his castle tomorrow, lol? Bro, the only reason this shit is scaring me right now. Is because I never knew what the f a Cthulhu was or what it looked like. And I, my, the main thing I, when I was telling people this story, I was like, my brain created something I've never seen before and I'm just freaked out about it. That was my first thing I was telling people when I, when I woke up. Like, bro, I had a dream that this is. Uh, 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 uh. I didn't Did describe, you know like, I, I didn't know how to describe Cthulhu it until y'all made me draw it. Yo, chat, y'all are W's. Y'all are W's because y'all made me draw it out, bro. And when I was drawing it out, y'all kind of saw what the fuck I was drawing. Told you. Into the depths of the sea, for reasons that many have speculated about, ranging from alien attacks to natural disaster. Cthulhu and his children remain trapped, waiting for a time when the ancient city would resurface. The cult of Josh, Cthulhu were left please. waiting for the sunken city Can of we... earlier to rise, God, for the great old ones and mankind to find. What do you mean he visits one. people in their dreams, bro? He didn't say nothing, though. He was just taking the Souls and bodies and remnants. You got a peek into the future. Imagine this all really happens later. With so many deities that featured in his mythos and a bunch that came before Cthulhu, why exactly is Cthulhu the most well known to us? And why does he have an entire Bro, mythos named off? When it comes to mythology and stuff like that, and when I tell you that's what you seen, you described him perfectly. It might be bro, a bro. Bro, chat. I am the most logical base mother I know. I don't do none of that fucking, none of this extra fucking ma ma what, magic, whatever the fuck you want to call it, bullshit. What the fuck is this? I've yet to mention the appearance of Cthulhu, and that's because I feel Cthulhu's appearance is one of the main reasons he became Cthulhu, fuck, tentacle ass nigga. He didn't have tentacles though, it was like roots! It was coming out like tentacles, but it was roots, bro. Or maybe I thought it was roots. Game so popular. Many of the deities that feature in the Cthulhu mythos often appear as a combination of tentacles, eyeballs, and bubbling goo. And to be honest, half the time it's quite I thought he difficult said roots. to distinguish I was, between I was, I, I, I almost blew my bro <laughs> chat. I thought he said roots. I was, I was, I was, I, I, I was passed out. I was, oh god, I was passed out. I was had an aneurysm. I was passed out. <laughs> I was passed out. I was passed out. This is an issue that we don't have with Cthulhu. Despite the fact that he features in tons of stories from all sorts of universes and time periods, his appearance remains extremely recognizable. In The Call of Cthulhu, he is described as being a monster, with a vague anthropoid outline. Anthropoid meaning it somewhat resembles an ape or a human. His head was that of an octopus, with a host of tentacles acting as feelers. He had claws on each hand and each foot. I didn't see a body, I just saw a head. I just saw the head, and then the things going into the ground, his tentacles or roots going you into need the ground. start praying at night, promise it help. With a pair of very basic wings that didn't look like they were capable of flight. The main Ew, this feature ugly ass this is Pirates of the Caribbean, freak ass is the fact that he just looks like a giant octopus man, with tentacles surrounding his mouth, and no, Most I'm not referring to David Jones. Male. The artistic interpretations of Cthulhu vary as much as the stories he features in, but whether he appears as a giant statue, or a cartoon character, it remains very easy to tell that what you are looking at is in fact Cthulhu. Now if you're anything like Bro. me, you may not be a huge fan of the ocean, or more specifically what we cannot see chat, in the there was no below. ocean involved, chat. This work is based on the fear of the unknown, the fear of these unknown powerful beings that we are unaware of. 
If you combine this fear with an already existing fear that we have, such as what lies beneath the ocean, you now have a fear that is familiar, but yet still unknown, making it easier to understand and relate to, which is exactly what we have with Cthulhu. Let Many the okay. monsters such as Cthulhu as innately evil, but he is a being that we cannot truly comprehend, a being whose motives and ethics we will never understand. He is neither good nor bad. The realms of good and bad as we know it do not apply to Cthulhu. Cthulhu has become somewhat of a staple in pop culture, there is an endless list of games, movies and books that feature Cthulhu and his mythos. If there are any stories that you've recently read that feature Cthulhu that you think might be worth sharing, then please do so in the comments I below. I promise you, if I would have never told y'all that I dream, and I, and I just went on a game and I seen that nigga, I would I would I, y'all wouldn't even know what the hell is going on. I'd just be having a panic attack, y'all wouldn't even know, you'd be like, yo, are you good gang? Like, what the fuck happened? Okay, you said Lovecraft, what? You said, love, craft, and robots? So shit. Love death robots. Love death. You told me to look up what scene though? Know? Is it this shit? Running up the Double ETF and talking about the the other stuff. You say release me? Oh my god. Zaza before bed. I don't fucking smoke, nigga. <clears throat> Maybe I'm reaching, okay? Because I know I said after the dream, I was like, why was my brain thinking the way it was thinking? I never felt like that a day in my life. It's like it opened something in my brain. I was just standing at the end of my bed. But Maybe I'm, maybe I'm reaching. I'm reaching. I'm probably trying to draw a semblance, but I'm, it's, it's, I'm reaching. But the closest thing, this right here, this image right here, this right here on the right that you see here, This image here, literally, imagine this, a different color, and all these tentacles are in the ground like roots. All the things coming out of his mouth are going into the ground. That's the only difference. But it looked like this. This image. Look at Arrival. It's a, it's a movie with the... Stop, bro. You ain't y'all gonna. Watch the love death robots Hebero scene. That shit was trippy ass for no reason. Bro. 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 You should RP it. Bro, that that this ain't no joke. I ain't gonna lie. Until I get to the bottom, this ain't no joke, bro. It's RP. It's nice knowing you, Rage. Why you saying like? Why you saying that like you're not about to know me no more? We're not in the game, draws your tree.